The tower begins. Hello everybody, Big Planes here, and today I'm coming at you with update 14 on building the custom LEGO Saturn V rocket, and a lot of progress has been made since the last update. The last update, this whole thing was over on the table, and I had just completed the entire base, but now, now it gets really exciting because we have moved on to the tower itself. So yes, the construction of the tower is beginning or has begun and is really coming along nicely. Now it is not completely done yet. There are still some things that will be added later on and obviously it's only about two and a half, three feet tall right now, but you can sort of see what it's gonna start to look like. And what took a lot of time to get right, and this is definitely, the, this is something that really had to happen, is down here at the base, see those anchor points? This took a very long time to get right and I, oh my goodness, it was so hard. I had to like angle those using a ball hinge mechanisms and all sorts of different shapes and sizes. And eventually I got it in there pretty tight and this thing is pretty sturdy, so it's not going anywhere, right? But another thing that was interesting that I really like about this is how I utilize these round bricks that really get that sort of bar look, like struts they're going across. So that's definitely something that was fun. And I really, really enjoyed using those little brick round pieces or whatever they're called to get that much more detailed struts. Now, like I said, this is not detailed yet. I'm just building the main structure, the sort of the main frame of this thing, but it is going to get much more detailed. There will be minifigures up here. There will be all sorts of little equipment. You can see the elevator shaft that goes down the center. I will believe have a functioning elevator that might not be in there at first, but I will add it if I don't put it in the first edition or rendition of this this uh, model and something else that I found sort of interesting was sort of the, just the general size of this thing and how big it's going to be and since now we're actually beginning to see what this is going to look like you really just get to understand how big it's going to be and just for some scale we have a minifigure right here at little white speck let's see yep there's an astronaut and you can see compared to the rocket itself it's it's tiny it's just absolutely tiny. So we'll bring this little guy, oh, hit my B-52. We'll bring this little guy over here and place him right here, just like so. And that gives you an idea of just how absolutely ginormous that this thing is going to be. And I, I know it looks not quite right right now, but there's going to need to be more crossbars and struts that are gonna be added here. There's gonna be one more that gets added right here. And then these will come on up. There's going to be another level right here. And then it'll just go up, 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 all the way to the ceiling. And after about right here, this level right here, it's going to be symmetrical. So right now, it's sort of just coming out. It's wide and it's coming back in. But once we get up to about the fifth level, it's just going to go up the same exact design. So it's going to get kind of boring after that point. But when we get to the very top, I'm probably going to make a crane though. It's going to only be able to go on outside and in conventions since it will not fit in this room. But that's definitely something that I'm looking forward to. And you may notice that right here, we've got a little uh, uh, offshoot from the main thing. What's going to happen here is that there's going to be a walkway that goes from here all the way out around come back and then right here there will be a gantry that connects to the rocket itself and there will be one of those about here too that connects right here and another one like right here and then another one that comes up like right here and then another one up there and of course the one at the very top that will have the one that goes to the capsule so that's definitely not going to be a fun task since it's going to just require me to build a lot of things over and over and over again but it's definitely something that's worth doing because it really is much more realistic. Another thing that you may notice that I've done is, though this is not completely done, I've already added some fencing. These fence pieces that I got from Austria. Wonderful Germany has all the good pieces. No, actually, I'm not sure if Austria is in Germany. But that area has a lot of very good Lego parts. So I got those from Austria and a few, fair amount of them too. We should have enough of those to get to the very, very top. And when it comes to parts, <laughs> I made a little mistake we have over here. These parts, I was expecting to only need a, like 800 of them, but it turns out that my predictions were way off. We're gonna need another 1300 more of these since we'll only have enough to get about the fifth or sixth level up. So we're gonna need another 1300 of these because we need to go up 13 levels after this. Since this is like a 15 or 16 level tower, there'll be 15 or 16 platforms. So yeah, those parts are, they're gonna need to be bought. And that sort of adds into how much this thing is costing me. 
just an FYI, I do not monetize the channel as of right now. I do not monetize, and I don't have a Patreon, as a lot of you would want me to. And so yeah, all this is coming out of my own pockets. This is not something that I'm trying to make a profit off of. There's no really way for me to. So just remember that. And yes, I am nearing my goal of 1,000 subscribers. If you're watching this in 2018, the early part of 2018, you may notice that my subscriber count is getting very close to 1,000 subscribers. And that is very exciting for me. That's a huge milestone. Mark. I, milestone. I know for many of you guys, there are much larger YouTubers if you're watching this, but that's not a huge milestone. You get 1,000 subscribers subscribers each day but for me it's it's big so we're gonna celebrate that and by celebrating that we're probably gonna build this well not probably we will be building the space shuttle but going back to the thing that I don't make any money off of these and I have to pay for them all by myself I don't know I'm this thing's I'm already in the hole for this thing so the space shuttle I'm gonna walk you through the entire process of building it everything from the planning to the building but just just know that I do not have a ton of money and this may go slow for the space shuttle just because I have no way to fund it. And the Saturn V is stealing all the funds and I really hope to have it done before I hit a thousand subscribers but since the community has been so great to me I might actually hit that mark before I'm done with the Saturn V and I don't know if I'll be able to start this space shuttle immediately. I hope I will be able to but we'll just have to see how much money I have left over. So I know I've sort of gone on for a little while on this one. I always go over time with these Saturn updates. I just sort of get talking and just can't shut up. So that's all I really got for this one. We've got some major tower progress and hopefully in the next week or so I had to order more parts. I will have to order more parts. Hopefully in a week or so I will have the next update to the Saturn and these are going to start going really fast. The next update I may be right there or I may be all the way done with the top of the tower because down here you need to put a much more effort into designing it but once you get past a certain point it's just the same thing. It's very, you know, very, it's, you're just stacking the same levels. So that should go very quickly once those parts arrive. So that's really all I've got for this video. Please be sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe. We're <laughs> trying to get, go beyond 1000 subscribers or whatever we want to do. That sounds like a lot of fun. So yeah, I'm sort of <laughs> going on at this point. That's all I really got for this video. Bye for now.